Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how you can use chicken wire for your outdoor garden decor. The first project is a sun catcher and here I am making a frame to hold the chicken wire in place. So first I'm going to measure twice and cut once I think is the same um, and just go ahead and use the miter saw to make my cuts. So I'm using a white wood to make this frame and I'm just going to go ahead and sand it down so that when I put the stain on it, it's all going to be nice and smooth. Then I'm going to go ahead and just take this stain and stain each piece. So there I did a cut of four, as you can see here, for one frame for this chicken wire. So here I am just using my staple gun to staple the chicken wire in on one side, on the inside of the frame. So then that evening, as you can tell it's a little darker out and it got a little colder, I'm using the nail gun to nail the back side of the frame together. Unfortunately, as you'll see, I stapled right through the table as the nails were too long. So I just turned it around and I cut cut the back side or I cut them off um, where they poke through and just kind of hammered it down a little bit. So that will be the back side of the frame. I'm really not going to show that part. So I set myself up in front of the TV to make the charms for the sun catcher and the charms are going to hang on the chicken wire and this is uh, probably pretty similar to making jewelry. Um, I did look online to figure out what I needed, needed to do and how to twist the wire um, to make like the hoop and things like that so it's fairly easy and it's something like I said you can just sit in front of the TV and do.
So then after you make the charm, you just go ahead and uh, hang it on the chicken wire. So here it is all finished. I was trying to do kind of like a rainbow look and I do have it on my front porch, uh, but I'm not sure, my porch is covered. So I think I can leave it out there and I think it turned out really cute. For the second project, I'm making a cloche with a chicken wire. And I had picked up this lampshade from the Salvation Army and I had hoped that the sides were attached to it, you know, to hold up the top. And then I would just put the chicken wire over it, but that wasn't the case. So I grabbed this bucket that I had and kind of cut the chicken wire around it. Um, and then it, it just you just got to play with it to figure out how you want to um, mold it onto whatever you're molding it onto because obviously I had to get rid of a lot of the excess chicken wire so I'm just trying to figure out where I need to cut and then I'm just going to kind of pull it over and use the wire to uh, bring it all together and hold it all together. And then once you're done, you just pull your mold out. And what I'm going to do is take the top part of the lampshade and put it up in top. And then I'll use the wires that are uh, kind of loose around to hold the top of the um, lampshade frame on. So then I just took it and I put it over one of the pots that I had in my garden. For the next project, I am taking a ball with, and wrapping the chicken wire around it to form it around the ball. I'm going to go ahead and you know gather it and cut off the excess that I don't need. So once you have it formed all around your mold, I guess you would call it, you still have to get it out though. So here I am trying to tap it out and then you can reshape it as best you can. For this next one, I grabbed a bocce ball, um, which is a little smaller. So I have two small ones with the bocce ball and then two larger ones with the other ball. And then I grabbed these little plastic trellises that I had for the stems. You can use like a bamboo stick or whatever you might have lying around. And I wasn't using these, so I'm just gonna go ahead and cut them and use them for the uh, stem of the flowers or the spheres. And what I'm gonna do is just kind of gather the chicken wire around the bottom and use black 
um, duct tape and wrap it around to hold it on. For this one, I decided to leave the part of the trellis that kind of looks like there's leaves on it, which I, you know, probably should have done with the other ones, but I didn't think about it right away. Uh, so that's what I'm going to do with this one here. And these are the four chicken wire uh, sculptures that I made and I'm going to go ahead and spray paint them um, pink the large one will be pink and the uh, smaller one would be like a turquoise color and I, I kind of stuck the stem in the cardboard here so that I didn't get the stem uh, the color you know the pink or the green color So here they are all finished. I put them in the different pots that I had around the house and I think they really add something to my garden decor and I love it. This is Jeannie with Makers Unify and thank you for watching my chicken wire project DIY. Have a DIY day!